Hey everyone, I'm here at RPM Rush in Manassas, Virginia, where Pimax is doing their Washington DC stop for their 2024 roadshow. Uh, it's only 20 minutes away from my house, so it kind of made it a no-brainer to come check it out, especially since uh, most of you know I use the HP Reverb G2, and uh, Windows Mixed Reality support is ending in the near future, so I'm kind of in the market for a new headset. So I figure, what the hell, let's go check it out. So uh, let's go inside and uh, see how it all looks. All right, guys, so I just uh, finished up here at the Pimax Roadshow in uh, the DC area, and uh, just some initial thoughts and impressions. Um, first off, I, I love the location they chose. These guys uh, here at RPM Rush, they're, uh, they're setting up a new, they've only been open since January is what they told me, and uh, they are doing a, uh, uh, a great job. They've got a couple of uh, car racing sims in there. They're looking at expanding in the future to uh, flight sims as well so uh, I'll definitely be on the lookout for that and keep you posted how that goes as I hear, uh, hear what's going on but as far as the uh, the crystal light itself um, it's so slightly heavier than uh, my G2 uh, which you know it, it's to be expected I mean if you've seen the size of the thing it's huge um, so uh, slightly heavier uh, but not terrible honestly um, it runs off of uh, power from the PC, so it's connected via cable, um, so you don't have a, a huge battery pack on it, which is nice. Um, the, uh, from what I'm told, the crystal itself, they didn't have the crystal here for me to check out, but the crystal has a battery pack on it. Um, I spoke to somebody else, uh, another DCSer, who said that uh, um, it he gets like eight hours from his battery, so it's not really a concern for him. But if you're concerned about the weight, then uh, uh, then with the crystal light, it's not that huge of a deal. Um, so as far as the, the clarity, the clarity was unbelievable. The, uh, the adjustable IPD, I mean, IPD went all the way up to like 72, which is crazy. Um, uh, obviously, I didn't need that much but some of you might and uh if you do then then it might be uh well worth considering um what else the uh the straps there's uh one center strap there is a uh, uh the adjustable uh it's kind of like uh it's got a rotating screw on the back uh, or a rotating knob on the back that allows you to tighten and loosen and uh and that was nice, a uh, little change for my G2. Um, 
kind of reminded me of the uh, the strap I had on my uh, my Quest 2 uh, back when I was using that. Um, but it, it adjusts down nicely, and if you need more support, like if you do have the battery pack, uh, uh, the, the other DCSer that I was talking to uh, showed me a strap that you put on the top that uh, that kind of relieves a lot of that pressure. So. Uh, initial impressions, I like it. I like the clarity, uh, performance. You know, they didn't have anything that was killing it. I think the the most um, uh, robust machine they had was a, a 4070 Ti, or maybe it was a 4060 Ti. Um, but uh, it, the clarity was was really good. Um, I'd, I'd really like to uh, to check out a Quest 3 next and uh, and see how that uh, compares to the crystal light but so far uh, so far i have to say i'm sold um uh, you know as far as uh as far as the headset itself now the pricing pricing will be a different story but uh we'll have to take a look at that um you know once we uh compare and contrast the uh the quest 3 and uh and how it uh looks feels and operates so well that's going to be it for this video about my experience at the 2024 Pimax Roadshow. I just want to say thanks to the Pimax team for coming all the way to, to the Washington DC area. It was nice to be able to experience this headset in person. As it stands right now, the most expensive version is $899 US if you'd like the local dimming feature with included controllers. But you can get it as low as $699 without local dimming. They are shipping now, so if you're interested, you can check them out at Pimax.com. Thanks again for all the support. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash 64D, where you can catch me flying live on stream. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks again.